I leave Indiana, I go down to Florida College. One of the guys who I became friends with at camp also went to Florida College. So I spent a lot of time with him, and his roommate was Roger Polanco. Roger is my brother-in-law, and we both work here in New York City, sharing the gospel with people. Within a, a week or two of being in New York, I was in love with the city. I grew up here, and I love it here. I love the people. There's always people around. And you feel like there's always something to do. I, I've always felt suited for New York and he was a mess. He was kind of a, a character at the time. I got around the wrong kind of people, but then I started getting around good people, or good people started getting around me. At that time, his life really changed. I've never seen somebody change as quickly as he did. And from that time on, he was serious about sharing the gospel with people, about teaching people about Jesus. There was something special about being able to come to a place where people had none of the privileges that I had had, spiritual privileges growing up, and yet see their faith and devotion, their eagerness to learn about the Lord and to get to know God. I think the book of Revelation, especially when he's addressing the seven churches, really helps you to see that, number one, people were part of a local church, that there were differences, but that you lived in that community. Jesus expected you to be there. And I think that's important. And I think there are tremendous benefits from studying the scriptures with people who are different than you. There are things that maybe my culture blinded me to or my upbringing blinded me to that have been much easier to see when surrounded by other people who love God, who are committed to His Word, but they're reading the same scriptures that I am. It's really powerful. Be imitators of God as beloved children. And I think it's, it's hard to be in New York and not be so attracted by whether it is greed or, I think worldliness in general would be one of the things that Jesus was like, okay, we need to get focused on that. There's some changes that we need to make. You know, I think Jesus, if he was to write us a letter, I think for some of them he would say, I know that you're poor and I know the tribulation that you're facing here, but really you're rich. For other Christians, I think Jesus would say, hey, I know that you think that you're rich, but really you are desperately poor. So with that, it's much easier, I think, to become captive to the culture that you're living in. The pull of the, the greed in the city, the pull of the idolization of sex and the idolization of just self is really strong on Christians here. And I think a great challenge for us to fight and to combat. But I think there are tremendous advantages to raising children in a diverse place. I didn't have time to be general, my name is. Cyprian, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, Batman. Batman? There are tremendous challenges for sure, but it's also really strengthening. And one of the things that I think I will want them to look back on and appreciate is just how much of the world they got to experience here in the city and just how much they have benefited from learning from Christians who come from all over the world. We're blessed to be able to worship with brethren from South America, all over the Caribbean, Africa, the Middle East, Asia. I mean, it's, it's a very diverse church family. And it's interesting because the churches here are so diverse, the needs are also so diverse. So for example, like we have new Christians from uh, the Middle East. So they're coming out of Islam. Now they, they are no longer allowed to return. They had to apply for asylum when they became Christians because if they were to return, there'd be a good chance that uh, they, could be, they could be hurt or even killed. So for them, you know, some of what's said to the church is about persevering and enduring and you know you're being tested right now but this is just going to be temporary those messages would ring very strong and, and be very important for them you know I came here like young and naive thinking that I had a lot to offer the city I think I was pretty unaware of how much the people of this city who love God had to offer me
I'm Craig. And I'm Stu, and we're the founders of Appian Media. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content that you've just seen. This was only made available through the generous donations of so many of you. We believe that the world should have biblically accurate, visually engaging content about the Bible, and it should be free for everyone. We would encourage you to visit the membership page of appianmedia.org and consider becoming a reoccurring member. Everything that you donate to Appian Media is tax deductible. However you decide to donate, we really appreciate your support.